Well, good to see you again. Uh, Nick Powell here, Flick Ledger of EU Reporter, and with me is Dick Roach, former Minister for Europe from Ireland. Um, and uh, here in the European Parliament, uh, true results not yet coming in, but the seat projection is starting to get very interesting. And for the first time, Dick, we can talk about how the overall European Parliament is shaping up for uh, the next five years. Yeah, if you actually look at it in the street, right and left, and you take it that the dividing line is between Renew and EPP. Anything renewer to the left, anything from Renew to, the, to its left is left, anything from EPP to the right is the right. If you look at that, uh, it seems that the projections are that the combined left, the soft left right across to the hard left, will lose about 54 seats and they will move across uh, to the combined right. Now, if it were just simply a right-left thing, that would seem to suggest that the Parliament is a done deal, but it isn't, because the reality of it is, uh, it's still, it's still going to be a juggling act. So, I mean, there is certainly a workable majority. If you look at between EPP, ECR, S and D, and Renew, that's 398 seats plus the Greens with 50, 53 seats. There is certainly a majority in that. That's it's not. It's not bound to happen that they'll all vote the same So let, let's just spell that out. So we've got the EPP, the Christian Democrat Party, yeah. is the biggest group. Traditionally, in terms of how this place is, is run, the deal is with the social, Socialists, the S&D, and with the, the centre, the more centrist party, the Liberal Party, now called Renew. And between them, and probably they can bring the Greens into the tent as well if they need to, that, 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 is, that, that will control the Parliament once again. But of course, there's a very, there's a very healthy, over 300, sorry, over over uh, 440 yeah, seats yeah. there. But that's not the way they're no. all going to vote. So, that, but that is more. Before we move on, that is more plausible than the EPP managing to do a deal with all the parties to the right of it, which has been yeah. perhaps over talked up before this tonight. I, I, I think it has. Yeah. I, I think it has, um, because. Certainly, there were. I mean, if you put EPP, ECR, IND, and the Nunnish group, which will have a lot of, mm. of parties to, to the so called right, and you, you know my view about I hate these labels, uh, certainly there's 416 there, and that would look like a really good mm. majority, but there is not. You want to be, uh, I, I don't know, you want to be Nobel Peace Laureate to actually bring. A majority out of that, well, as it looks at the moment. So, so that, uh, that's that's a tough, tough call. I mean, let's talk about you know the, the 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 biggest task that the Parliament has to perform in its early early months, which is uh, endorsing a commission commission president. And well, we'll see if she gets the nomination of the European Council yet. But can Ursula von der Leyen get a second term? Well, probably no. If she tries to reach out to the ECR, yes, if she goes to the more traditional centre group, but even then, she really would have to keep them all on board, wouldn't she? Yeah, she'll have a big juggling act, there is no doubt about that. But you know, that said, that said, she has surprised a lot of people mm. so far. But um, it, it is a significant juggling act, it will be very tough. She, 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 she could well do it, but I think she's on a very tight and very high rope. Yeah. And, uh, but the, the, that, uh, that said, she has, there is nobody obvious to take her place. Mm. So that's another issue that has to come into this. I mean, as we'll get, we'll get on to in a, in a minute, um, you know, it's been a very bad night for Emmanuel Macron. I mean, the reason renewal well down is largely because of what's happened in, or expected to happen in France, in France I should yeah, say. Yeah. But nevertheless, not just in the council, but also in the Parliament, it could be what he decides about Van der Leyen. Well, that's really intriguing because, of <laughs> course, uh, uh, yeah, he's already made his views known and they're not positive. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so if you actually were to take what the projected Renew figures are, even though Renew is down 20 plus seats on these projections, so if you were to take the take renew out of that it makes it very difficult it, it really is very very complicated and Macron could change his mind he could say that, that what the hell the best of a bad lot uh, but um, it's 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 it's, intri it's quite intriguing and of course we're talking about just 10 past 9 p.m. so 
there's a, there's a long, and we're, and we're actually, these are the very first projections of the very first projections. Absolutely, yeah. these are seat projections. There is now one for the overall parliament, even though not every country is yet no. delivered a projection. Well, Nevertheless, they're, they're a lot still of what, voting in Italy, I think. Or have they just finished? Italy, of course, you know, still, still, or have they just people, finished? People voting, I think. Yes, no, I think not, not quite yet. So, but that said, you know, a lot of the countries that you've been talking about earlier on as the ones to watch, yeah. you know, we, we do now have some, uh, some, we, some, we, fairly, some fairly robust we, stats we, for them We do. Now. We have robust stats on mm. France and Germany, mm. not on Italy, uh, Spain, uh, waiting for Poland as well, Romania, Netherlands, but we have Netherlands. And, and as you know, I'm waiting for Slovakia as well. Well, as I, I, yes, yeah. as, I, as I've mentioned them already, let, let's start with France, <laughs> Dick. I mean, they're... Uh, certainly, it, the, the, some of the bigger shifts in support since five years ago have happened in France. Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, the projection I think was 14 uh, seats for uh, for Macron for, for the, the new group, uh, which is down nine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a cat as, I mean, it's a pretty catastrophic loss. But when you then move across, where where where, where is the big gain? Well, the gain is of course in the INT and it's, it's if pen. these figures are right mm. and the pen is having a really good night mm. and it's a kind of humiliation mm. uh, for Macron who I notice has just come on television beside us um, so that's 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 the big news there in France yeah. I mean they have uh, what, 30 uh, uh, you know more than twice Macron's yeah, yeah. party yeah. oh yeah sorry mm. uh, well mm. uh, absolutely and, and there's a very interesting um, thing here the s and have actually consolidated the position quite significantly in, in France. They've, they've made a gain too. Greens look like they're taking a bit of a, a, bit of a kicking, um, and although I'm not sure that that figure is completely correct. But uh, it, it is, the big story there is the shift from Macron towards Le Pen. And in Germany, we've talked about it a bit earlier on, but uh, again, as, as the stats uh, harden up a bit, where are we with Germany? And I mean, it well, I, you're right. Go, going back, I mean, the uh, Schultz is not having a good. The, uh, is not having a good night. The S and D are down, down significantly. Well, they're down to 14, 15 seats, and you have uh, the I and D, the AFD. You know, have been the big, the big, big winners there. Mm. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a humiliation for the uh, Chancellor, uh, and um, it's a, it's it's certainly a shift. Uh, to the right. EPP holding its position there. Renew holding its position in Germany. Not, you know, nothing, any big change. The Greens are taking a bit of a kicking. Uh, IND way up. Uh, I think ECR will hold. I think they will have one. I'm not sure. And uh, the, 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 the left. Well, that, there, is, there is, of course, a, a big gain there too. Mm. But um, it's, it's quite intriguing. And everybody needs to know this is 20 past nine now, so th these are still projections of projections, but we'll know more in the next hour. We, we will, but, um, and I'm, I'm probably, it's only, I mean, it's when Italy comes in, we'll probably see uh, uh, a Prime Minister <coughs> who's um, who's pleased, as opposed to the uh, yeah, rather, rather bitter uh, news for um, well, that's, uh, that's, Schultz and Macron. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. interesting, because mm. yes, in France and, and, and Germany, mm. uh, there is uh, n no reason to celebrate in the in the, in, the, in the palaces of power. I think in Italy there will be. Uh, Spain, I, we, we haven't spoken about Spain, but not much in the way of movement there. Uh, Spain has a, an extra two seats in this parliament, so it goes up from 59 uh, to, it goes up from 59 to 61, sorry about that. It goes up from 59 to 61, and um, yeah, and uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to see what is going to happen in Poland, because again, there is, increases in votes there so uh, and uh, yeah yes but I mean Poland briefly I mean we, we, we don't have a projection for Poland yet but just going on the opinion polling in Poland uh, it looks as if uh, civic platform the governing party or the main party in the governing coalition um, will get about the same amount of support as uh, the PIS who were in power till recently and in terms of a turnaround on last time that would be pretty big progress for Civic Platform, would it not? Oh, yeah, uh, the uh, Trust will have done really well uh, mm. because um, 
Uh, the, the PIS has done so extraordinarily well previously. It was a very good night for them. So we, we, we don't have figures. No, we don't. We're, just, we're in the guesstimate uh, mm, area. Sure. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, we're in the guesstimate area on a lot of stuff. Yeah. But it, it's, 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 it's beginning mm. to get... You, you, uh, I think yeah. we begin to get more confidence in the figures. Yes. It is, it is still all to play for. It's not over yet. But if you're people going down to the bookies, uh, it's moved. It's moved to the right, but it hasn't actually been a right-wing landslide by any any by any of any 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 measure. Be betting once the once the horses are, are, are actually running around the field is a, is a particularly dangerous game, is it? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a very dangerous game. I once famously remember when I worked in the Department of Finance, sitting down with a, a man who was very enthusiastic mm. about betting, and I did some projections for him, and he actually phoned his. Very funny, and said, I have this young fellow who's an econometrics man, and he was telling me these figures. And unbelievably, projections came correct. And I was the only person in the office who didn't put money on it. So there you are. <laughs> My mother taught me never bet on horses and never go down and bet on other things as well. But there you go. Well, there you are. Dick Roach, the man whose projections are correct. You know where to put your money if you do fancy a last-minute bet. Not that I'm recommending it. See you soon.